Good evening. Thank you for joining me on the Bookwalker. My name is Theo. Don't call me Ted. I accidentally grabbed the book case thing at the end of the last video, but it was a cool sneak peek. And I'm excited to end down some sort of... Was that the Polar Express mixed with Dune? Is that what's going on here? I'm excited. But first I wanted to check downstairs because I feel like there's something going on in the building that... Excuse me. It's separate from everything. Yeah, they're defrosting that. Did I already go in here? I wonder if I just keep clicking on it, if eventually something will happen. You know, in Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, if you click on the button in the beginning, like when it's super linear and you haven't gotten caught yet, to open up that door, that's uh, locked. If you click it like 66 times, you'll hear Palpatine call out Order 66. I have it clipped on my TikTok. Alright, I guess I missed that last achievement though. I'm pretty sure I can do this. Perfect. Shield duration? Yeah, I don't care about heal on use. Anything that doesn't get used, I'll definitely save. Imagine I only get hit by one, I have one left over, and only one person attacks the turn after. Like, that's perfect. That should have gotten me the, yeah, upgrade 5 skill achievement. See, it says aim for perfection, but it's just a story-based um, level up. That's why I was worried about the wand breaking in the third book. Now, I have a feeling this is going to be one of the longest books, but I'm excited to start it out. <coughs> I'm also excited to finish a book. A game, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm reading physical books, I'm listening to fucking audiobooks, I'm listening to podcasts about books, and then I'm playing video games about books. I gotta fucking calm down. It's fine. Uh, this is a cool setup though, I like that I'm starting in here with a dead guy. Inside the train. One moment. I don't have a choice. Everything that happened? Have they managed to convince you? Or has another month passed since I last saw you? They spent a whole month convincing you? Not quite that long. You really had to erase your own character. Feelings towards characters. Because Amanda left you doesn't mean all characters are now bad. I really thought about giving it all up. I wonder if this is all straying from the fact that I killed the alchemist in the first book. I wonder if this could have been a lot cheer more cheerful of a playthrough. But the client is right, I need to finish my last job. Even if what we're doing makes me feel sick. If they get rid of my shackles, I can write my own book. Putting this all behind me. What are we looking for? A weather controller? A device that can control the weather? Seems so. 
it would certainly come in handy here. You look around, the air feels like it has, it's at least 100 degrees, if not 120. Oh god. Let's check out the dead guys, take the key. Small light on the blinking, is blinking on the radio panel next to the worn out accept call button. All the equipment covered in sand. You see a steel plate with the number 42 next to it on the speaker. You hear static over the radio. Wind F Jr. speaking. Taking over for the senior meteorologist. Too soon, unfortunately. The voice belongs to a very young man, but sounds confident. As though he's been giving commands over the radio his whole life. I know it's me. We're 42. I don't think Pete will be making radio contact anytime soon. Must have been the dry storm last week. New operator of 42. So I'm obliged to inform me that there's a death storm forecast between the mines 10 and 40. You should head towards town. Okay. Is this everybody that's been here? Looks like this is the list of the train's previous operator. This one is Ronald Miles. What about the Dewey Descartes Pete? What do you have time? What yeah. guy deserves at least? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I want to add mine. Give me an achievement. Nice job. Couldn't put half the effort into the other names though. Had to make your own name the best, so. Yeah. It's cause yeah. <laughs> it's a photo of a woman with her blonde hair and a ponytail. It could be the former operator's daughter or maybe his wife. The tank is full. Cooling is operational. Oil is empty. Perfect. Yeah, let's check out the whole train before I step outside. Oh, it's just these. Okay. Okay, gotcha. So that's the train, huh? Whoa. Wow, this is actually kind of sick. There's an oil bug inside. We need everything. An oil bug? That sucks. I don't know where you can get to town without the train. Suddenly an oil-eating bug jumps out of the tank. Grab the bug. It's clearly just pleased. I might need it. You put it in a in your pocket. You doubt you'll actually need it, but you're enjoying Roderick's reaction. Yeah, that was, that's a little chaotic. We should be good to go then. Oh, I didn't see if I can up. Yeah, look at that. I almost didn't get something. Can I just keep on going? Probably not. Okay. 
That death storm. The death storm is approaching. Hurry, anyone out past 10 miles? Train 42, what's the problem? We're barely moving. Great, we got the train started, but it's barely moving. We'll figure it out. We're looking at the fuel panel. All indicators seem normal except one. Whoever gets this train next, I hope it's not you. Pete, you moron. <laughs> the pressure of cylinder 3 has some stability issues. Sorry about that. Actually, no, I'm not going to apologize. By the time you're reading this, I won't care anymore. Deal with it yourself. Just kidding. Try hitting the panel. That usually works. There we go. There we go. Hold on, before I pick up that call, let me break down the shit I have. I'm really light on the loot right now. What? I can see you're picking up speed. The weather has all sorts of crazy lately, even here in town. Yesterday, a sorrow storm slammed us. So there's death storms, there's sorrow storms, and there's dry storms? Do the storms usually miss town? Of course. How do the joy storms make it here? The rest usually pass us by. If joy storms isn't like a spice reference and people aren't just getting high during joy storms i don't i don't see any point in the name like someone's controlling them right you can almost feel roderick winking at you What could affect the weather like that? I don't know. This all started after a senior meteor meteorologist died. Yeah, that makes sense. Sorry, I didn't read that. The, the meteorologist is the only person that would know anything about it. This guy doesn't seem to have any idea. Yeah, I'm excited to see what the town looks like. <clears throat> Just trying unsuccessfully to open the door of the train. We notice a short weather traffic chain. <laughs> I'm not going in. I'm not getting anywhere with him, but I have to make sure everyone is in town before the storm comes. down now I'm from train 42 Jenkins is that you it's a friend we don't have any friends I'm oh, just uh what are you doing Jenkins I don't think there's a peaceful way out of the situation <sighs> you lean your whole body into the door you hear the mechanisms inside start grinding against each other just a little more clunk, I think that looks open. Thin man is sitting in the corner of the locomotive, arms covering his head. Let the guard deal with him. 
Hey, Max, how you doing? Come with me. Easy. After a few minutes, he leads the man out of the locomotive and they disappear behind the town gate. Good thing the guy didn't see your face. Thanks for the help. It took Max to the infirmary to look after him. No problem. Well done. I'll move this train along and then years after. In the meantime, go up to customs and get your paperwork straight. I have a feeling this is going to be really long. This is a lot of setup. All the other books, they kind of put me in a thing. I talked to like two people and then I was just kind of on my way. This I had to solve a puzzle just to get to the room where I talked to the person that tells me where to go to go on my way. The inspector is sitting in the cold, dark office. He looks up at you and in a bored voice says, Train number? 42. Inspector takes through some paper. Are you Ronald Miles? You find the body of Ronald Miles? So after Miles, it was transferred to Jenkins. Now the inspector looks up at you. A tea. Wearing a shabby coat with a strange and rusty cage hanging around his neck. It's not shabby. His feet. He looks at you, then looks down again. He's apparently disfigured. Stop trying to antagonize the dude. Get you an old noble ticket, which looks like it's been passed around for years. Standard town visit is two hours. You must sell all possessions belonging to the train's former operator before you leave town. Make that your top priority. The inspector looks at you silently, trying to understand whether you're joking. We really don't know how things work around here. The train is yours. The possessions are the people's. And what happens if I can't sell them in two hours? The items will go to the people. Go on. Through the open turn stop. Fantastic. Just a bottle and a piece of bread on the on there. Damn it. Oh well. Whoa. This city is a lot more developed than I thought it'd be. I always underestimate cities that have to deal with the desert. It's crazy. A young woman is talking to one of the travelers who passes by a strange hat, passes her a strange half empty bag. Set my time by one hour, please. He hangs over the bag and quickly turns away. Hold on. Man freezes, tilting his head. Just who do you take me for? There's not even enough sand here for 15 minutes. She shakes a small pile of red sand into the palm of her head. Yeah, that's sounding like some spice right there. I'm pretty hyped. Do I need to call the guard? No, please. 15 more minutes. Just let me catch my breath and I'll be on my way. Then he turns to an empty hourglass in one of the niches on the wall. Damn beggars. Then she picks up the radio. You hear a crackling sound coming from speakers. Echoing all over town. Peters. Train 124. 50 minute extension. Got a new hourglass and pours on enough red sand to reach the second mark on the side. Then she puts it in one of the empty niches on the wall. Two hours. Starting now. Good luck in town. That stressful brother. Okay. Inspector, quiet woman, woman doing laundry, melon seller. 
I'm gonna buy some shit melon seller. Desperately trying to get your attention. A smile reminds you I didn't catch up. Hey man, hey, come over here. You got any sand? No, I'm looking to earn some myself. Oh, but I can't help you with that. I've been selling my heart out. Still don't even have enough sand to fix my train. Look at the melon seller's train. There's a lot of things in the world you would call rundown, but everything you've seen up until now is sparkling clean compared to his train. Town's running out. I have half an hour left in town. Because those damn guards, they gave me a penalty. Those dogs, what am I supposed to do? My wheel's busted. He knows the train's from now sitting at a 45 degree angle. He doesn't need to worry with a wheel like that. There's no getting the train out of here in any case. Alright, yeah, peace out. I'm gonna assume all these people are not trying to buy my shit. The assistant is in some objective positions. Oh, here we go. The man you encountered at the town gate recognized you. We can sell. We can sell this. You hear inside the train. I'd say there's enough to go. Max is resting right now. We're keeping an eye on this stuff. Take this, you're a good guy. You help Max. Let's take care of things. <laughs> See, peeking around just a little bit can can benefit you. Middle aged woman is resting on her, on her stoop. A base in the laundry, children's clothes sits at her feet. She stares at your train for a moment. She sighs, then leans against the train door, which buckles slightly under her weight. 42, huh? She grabs a cigarette and takes a drag. Do you know the previous operator? Jenkins? Yeah. He was my husband. She gets up heavy and starts hanging the laundry, as, as if nothing had happened. I'm sorry. Are your hands clean? Take off your dusty gloves. Pass me the clothes. Leave the basin and diapers inside. Makes sense of ash flying from her cigarette onto a pair of men's pants hanging in the line. pair of men's pants. Either grab her children's pants or a sheep. You take off just the gloves and pick up a pair of white children's pants. You glance at your hands for a moment. This is the first time in a long time that they've looked human. All that's left are thin scars striping across your palms. They probably won't ever fade. The woman takes the pants from you. Takes out the sheet, throws it over the line. What's your business in town? Got stuff to sell? Yeah. Your husband's possessions. <gasps> I didn't cook the right one. I'm an asshole. I don't even know what I cooked. The woman ashes her cigarette and you see her glance quickly. She takes the sheet. So, Jenkins' possessions, do you need me to? Pile a few socks from the basin together and give them. But the woman doesn't turn around and change them pretty good. She stands with her back to you, not speaking. The woman's shoulders tremble, but it's barely noticeable. I definitely said the wrong thing. All because I walked away and accidentally moved my fucking mouse. Damn high DPI. What did I even say? That's crazy. The 
green area, the, the background noise is so, like, ambient, and, like, there's so much going on. It's nice that I'm able to keep the, the game audio this high and still be able to talk over it. It also makes the little, like, it's even hard to make it. Sorry, too close. Cool. It's even kind of hard to make those noises sound sometimes when I'm uh, with this noise gate thing figured out too. <laughs> I keep going on about that shit. It's irrelevant. It's not. It's cool. It's fun. It's education. I don't remember how much this mic was, but, I mean, it wasn't expensive. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Examine the train in silence. It looks like the train has been washed recently. The metal and the glass are gleaming in the thin layer of newly settled dust. This looks like an elegant decoration. A while before that happens. How do I get in there now? Woman shrugs silently and looks towards the way out of town. With your eyes on a locomotive, you notice an old trailer with dried up branches sticking out of the leaky roof. The longer you look at the trailer, the more you shiver. Chills run up and down your spine like something icy touched the spot between your shoulder blades. Something about the trailer. Aren't you afraid your old trailer might fall right off? The woman continues to look towards the way out. Yeah. It was quite old. Falls off, it falls off. Corners of the woman's mouth turn up and she shakes her head. Do you know anything about the meteorologist? He tells us when storms are coming. Turns her head to look you straight in the eye. You can't read her expression. I won't keep you on your lock. Oh. I keep doing that and clicking the wrong things. What do you do? I don't care. This other woman doesn't... Yeah. I used to enjoy nurturing life. Seems that the oil bug in your pocket is finally trying to escape. Look it off. Put your hand over your neck. Leave it with me. Okay. She walks over and opens the door of her train, picks something up, and then returns to you. Here. She's holding two old, dusty bags of sand in her hand. Two bags of this gross little bug? Is she insane? You carefully remove the bug from your neck and pass it to the woman. She gives you two bags of sand for it. The woman nods gently to you, then turns her attention to the bug. This is a church? That's crazy. Junkyard. The random safe. Let's go to the flashy train first. It's a whole mansion on wheels. Seems like someone's done well. A world where you can die at any second. Just walk around. Curtains on the window are drawn tightly shut, but you can see the silhouette of a man watching you from outside. Knock knock. Silence. I can clearly see him watching us from the window. Why won't he open the door? Oh, he talks to people he knows. Funny. Fucker. Fuck ass. Fucking bookseller. Okay. 
Is this like a post-apocalyptic world, or is this just kind of a different universe that's always sand? The sound that reaches your ears seems impossible in this desert world. Rustling pages, hundreds of pages. The table next to the woman's train is full of books. Well-worn covers, each one like it was taken out of an antique bookshelf. I have something that might interest you. It's interesting. Yep, it's very interesting. Are you saying it's a universe? I thought it was just an old train driver's journal. Don't bother. I just want to sell it. I'll buy it. How much do you want for it? She seemed pleasantly surprised with it. Let's go greedy. Ten. I guess two. Should I ask for three? Yeah, openly said she has five left. And I'd be like, come on, I need you have two. That's like a whole purchase, two purchases even. Depending on if you can barter correctly. The bookseller disappears into a tree and then returns with two bags of sand. They have yellow letters in the language you don't know embroidered on them. This is for good luck. We could have found out what was in that journal. He might have helped us understand this world better. I haven't heard much useful advice from you recently, by the way. Fucking rock, Rick. Time runs out like red sand through your fingers in this town, literally. So do I have to go back occasionally and give them sand? Let's talk to Angry Man and then Shirley Woman before I break into her train. Open suitcases are strewn around the car. The man is washing something in a metal basin full of dark red water. She's washing so intently that you can hear the fabric ripping. He has an impressively large fang from some unknown animal hanging around his neck. You feel powerful yanked on your neck. You look down to see the man's wet hand grabbing Roderick's cage. I had a trendy friend once, always bragging about his sand bear thing. <laughs> but I taught him some manners. One punch, two. He looks at you with bloodshot eyes and keeps trying to pull the cage towards himself. Wedding is about to start. Dude, you're fucked. You're so fucking... You're boned, brother. Let's see what you got. Let's see. Oh, we're gonna stun you a couple times. Yep, just like that. Just like that. See me one more time. Yep, 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 yep. I guess what? We're gonna fucking stun you again. Cause you fucking suck. I'm just gonna drain you. The man flies into the basin, which turns over with a crash, splashing its contents onto the ground. Next time you're gonna go in my pocket, or even better, walking on your own two feet. Breathing hard, you carefully touch your neck. The string left an impression. Well. Okay, I guess it's none of our business, but we can't just let that psycho go on free. You know, it's a photograph, two smiling men are standing in front of a locomotive. One of them, your attacker, has his armor on the other, who looks pale and tired. 
His shoulders bandaged and he has a fang pendant around his neck. Oh, there's some hope. What's going on? He suddenly comes up. I'm not explaining anything, just knock him out. But there's pockets, might as well. We find two bags of sand, at least it's some compensation. What about tying him up? He doesn't look tied up at all. Let's check that crate, although I'm probably gonna have to pry it open. Or not. Girly woman. Animated old man. Silently waves me away. Oh, I'm definitely breaking into your train, then. Looking at a completely unremarkable train, but suddenly a loose piece of sheet metal at the back of the car catches your eye. Instinctively, you look around and get it closer. I haven't stolen anything yet. What do we have here? You'll have another chance at the train. Yeah, put your hand inside. Your fingers slide over the well-oiled innard of the train. Something brushes against your thumb. Touch the oddity. Pay no attention. You keep moving forward, but you're prepared to put your arm into your shoulder. Go into the shoulder. There must be something in there. The sheet metal couldn't just be loose for no reason. Your fingers touch a slippery handle. It's now or never. Pull it. A screeching sound grates in your ears. The train immediately starts moving and you just barely manage to pull your hand out of the opening in time. You hear the sounds of the gear springs and pistons coming from the hole. If you wait any longer, you're going to lose your arm. Hey, what the? Who broke my handbrake? Time to get out of here. Oh, there's a train operator. Oh, she got one poking around. I'm calling the guards. Mm. The old man is waving at you so furiously that it seems like his hand might fall off at any second. You mean you'll call me over? So, go on, get up, get. Of course, I can see that you only have 30 minutes worth of sand. The old man waves his fist angrily. He doesn't look particularly dangerous, but he probably knows a few dirty tricks. Start rolling up your sleeves. Hey, how do we do this? <laughs> Other seller, she's not gonna buy my shit. Guards playing cards. Two guards are sitting at the gate playing a strange game with stones. The guard on the left pretends not to notice you. The guard on the right isn't as good at feigning indifference. Feigning indifference. You see him casting quick glances at you. Only through, I need to go to the upper. Did I look at you not speaking? Are you visiting your wife and your boy? The man looks at you so I go on. He continues to glower at you. He clearly wants you to leave. I am. Hmm. Well, I got a shitload of sand. Go to the junkyard. Catch me and take me away. Get some looting in. You see a tall woman digging around in a pile of scrap metal. She picks up something that looks like an old computer case, then rakes out the microchips and wires as if they were parasites on a ripe piece of fruit. She tosses the cleaned out computer into a pile on her plants. Did you want something? I'm going to get to the upper deck. I'm trying to find a way into the upper district. Do you know anything that might help? I don't know anything. She smiles slightly. Do you need any help? She looks at the pile of scrap metal she still has to go through. The money actually. To one side. Smiles. I'm getting paid pretty well for this. I don't want to share my earnings with anyone else. Who's paying me? Do they have one work? Yeah. 
Don't you want to go from head to toe? If they want to. I don't think they'll have any use for you. You can as much in the middle of yourself. Here's in the middle of the square. So that's what we're looking for. We can call through and go straight to the upper district. That's a passage. Now we just have to figure out what about the sewer guardian. He dug up a whole warehouse of electronics. So I said, well, as I meant to say, I heard he's a nice guy. Definitely not in town. He's a real jerk. I hope he dies. Gotcha. I'll just take a peek at your sewer gate. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling I'm not even halfway through this. It's a flashy train. So the center of town, I think that's the center of town. Irritated man, he might have something to do. The prospector. Because not everyone wants anything. Hey, are you a digger? Sure I am. Can you work tomorrow? I want to dig up a building of, on Malta Street. But I can't do it myself. Of course, what's your plan? I started digging from the top, got from the 20th to the 7th floor, but the lower the floors are, the harder work. Sand's packed tight, and it's a pickaxe job. I want to round up a few more people, then we'll move out at sunrise. Why, why not do it at sunset? Anything special there? Is that building? The man peers closer to you. It seems he's not sure he can be trusted. There's a gun store on the first floor of the building. Work is all that should concern you. I'll pay you, and what's in the building is none of your business. Think that. No, he gets caught in the firestorm. Gross. It's kind of rough that he just kind of ruins things like that. That was some fun speculating. It's gotta be flashy train. It's the Mariano. Middle-aged man appears on the doorstep. He looks a little too clean for these surroundings and is holding a glass of something orange. Good day. He assesses you silently. Gaze runs quickly over your clothes, pausing at the cage around your neck. He doesn't pay any attention to your face at all. The stranger leans against the door, finished with his assessment of you. I'm trying to find a way to the upper district. Aren't we all? Good point. I don't plan on living there, I just have to take care of one thing. That's it. One thing. What could there possibly be for you? Except for the class, tell the truth. I need to get something. Something important. How important? <laughs> well, I'm in a business. I'd say about one bag of sand and one in his face to us. Five bags? Hmm. He gestures again for you to continue. Seven bags? The man starts nodding, but his hand doesn't stop moving. <laughs> Bags. Now you're speaking my language. I love it when a person wants something bad of me. <clears throat> In a flash, the man transforms from a reserved aristocrat into a jolly businessman. Not a bad start to the day, helping those in need, you might say. <laughs> Just don't wonder if I can get that much sand. <laughs> I 
Bounce trampoline up the stairs. I have seven. I need three more. I need to rob somebody or something. I can't believe I fucked up that little crate. Damn. What do I need to do? You have to figure that out. Talk to the people around. Maybe they have odd jobs for you or steal it if you have to. Alright, well, I need the sand from this guy. This is the last thing I could do, I think. <sighs> I'm not gonna get it fast enough. Irritating man, can you. Uh, too irritated. I should have pressed for the five. I'd have enough for already. To the uh we off to a bad start, but do you think you could sand to have sand? What's the deal today? I have two or three months worth of sand. The old man's eyes flash like a locomotive headlight. He reaches out hand to you. Your swollen finger joints cracking. And what are your plans? Have you thought about getting a new train? He thumps his train, which appears to be for sale. too soon. Jenkins, huh? Came in on Jenkins Junker and on Martinez. I'm currently Martinez. Forty bags of sand. It's enough for three months. Which is exactly how much longer I have to wait before I can retire. Oh, Lord, Jamie, finish crossing your lips. Some kind of wild entity seems to take over the grumpy. I have to fight him. Can I fight him? He's kind of annoying me. Talk to her. Is that In the custom service? I just finished going over your stuff in here. Oh, that's my train. I wasn't even paying attention. You need to sell everything that belonged to Jenkins before your time is town is up. See the tag, he means closer. Why would I put a tag on my own things?
selling my friend. He reached with radio on his belt that looks cool. Let's try and solve this peacefully. I don't want to fight this guy. I don't think that's something I can I can fuck with. Skeleton is still here. Stupid as shit. Oh, maybe I can make a crowbar. Maybe there's something in here. Perfect. Right now I just need one more bag of sand. Just one more bag. Dismantled counter. Yeah, I just need one more bag. I could sell anything. I looked in the bag, some weird gas cylinders. Just put them, put them on the counter. Anyway. Rags on the counter. There was a customer approaching, wasn't careful in the but this man was quite clean cut, probably from the upper district. So this map leads to something important, to treasure or rather. You can call her their treasure. The man doesn't react, he probably hears that every day. I say, 10 bags of sand and the map is yours. I have to pour out 10 bags of sand for a map. Where's the treasure? Which treasure exactly? Tap on Roderick's cage. A map to a water source. The man takes a flask of water from his belt and silently takes a drink. What's that you say? I <laughs> that they gave out water for free in the upper district. Well, you just completely ruined my credibility, Roderick. He doesn't need shelter, he's from upper district. He doesn't need sand. I would assume. If I say it's a pile of sand too, he's gonna be like, why don't you just go to the pile of sand instead of selling the map? It's food. Just lying around in the desert. You know about the shelter too? Christ, the fact that it lets me do that, but it made me fail that other conversation is kind of... Maybe five, but the shelter isn't there. I'll come back and give you five more. Now we're good. Let's go back to what's the space. The man appears in the doorway. Here's your ten bags. Go ahead, hand him the bags. Two, which he hands back to you. 
Give these to Janine, the woman who does the salvage work in the scrap heap. <laughs> How annoying. Oh well. Realistically, it wasn't a lot of work, so... Can't be too mad. I should have tried to bribe her though, I was trying to... <laughs> the one time bribing would work. Yeah, let's go. I've already fucked up the only thing I could do here that would have been interesting. The time is up. Prepare to leave town. Damn guards are about to come looking for me and the show seems suddenly. <laughs> she clears away a small heap of scrap metal from the so I'd hurry. Jump into the pipe. Don't even say anything. Fuck that bitch. She couldn't really just give me two bags of sand and we can go. Would have also had a longer time in here before they even had to look for me. Said needless to say it smells awful in here, and then he out and goes, it smells awful in here. Try to pick up the trash bag, but the concepts are too heavy and the bag rips. Dust pours out of the bag and gets in your eyes. Ooh, trust the bag of bricks. I think that's an achievement. Put your trust in a bag of bricks. Yep. You put your weight on the bag and then throw the other leg over the barricade of boards. But your pant leg gets caught on a nail sticking out of the board. You shipped your weight. Yeah, I don't hook it. Can't get it down. Train 42, your time is up. Leave town immediately. Your train will be confiscated. You're right, there's definitely no going back. At least it's just train getting confiscated and what they're just gonna. Banish me to the desert if they find me. I'll just wake up. They pick up a nearby bucket and start tossing shards of glass into it. Another shard goes into the bucket. And another one. And another. My hand twitches. Yeah, that's what you're fucking. In fact, done. Now you can try and jump over the obstacle. Why'd you jump so soon? You fly right into the barricade. Not over the barricade. Into the barricade. Yeah, it sounds right. I broke it down though. I just took damage, are you serious? Stupid. Get me dirtier. The joy storm is approaching, we'll hit in five minutes. The one in front of you doesn't look particularly big. I don't even care anymore, charge straight to the barricade. No, I'm not going to do that. Carefully lift one leg over the aisle and quickly find yourself on the other side. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. 
I'm loving the music. The joy storm has arrived. The sound of sand pulling. It's getting closer. Soon it envelops your whole consciousness. You're suddenly overtaken by a bunch of sh just such strong emotion that you involuntarily lean forward. It's like you're drowning in a calm, relaxing sea. Good. The joy sea. The joy storm is really just a storm of drugs. You turn your head to the left and see your sister standing behind you. You're happy. She's not in danger anymore. You turn to the right and see your brothers. They're sitting next to your brothers and you. Wearing strangely colored armor, you look down and see that you have the same armor on. You touch the armor. Peace flakes off, burning your hand. The image starts to fade. The vision passes and its place. And in its place, you're filled with an unbelievably nostalgic sense of longing. Long enough, I start to worry about you. Damn, we need to hurry. I do that again. Yeah. Leave it. Leave it completely. This poor guy is sitting on the ground, leaning against the wall. An idiotic grin is lighting up his face. What's up, the man? Thanks for not interrupting me. I really got caught up in that. Why did your visions last so long? To ten minutes ago. Try not to move or look around too much. Concentrate on one thing and don't use up all your strength at once. That helps the visions last longer. What was it you wanted? Looking for the meteorologist. Looking for the sail, huh? Head straight south. I forgot where he said to go. I wasn't paying attention. So let's make it soup. Upper Western Town. Meteorologist's wife. And then some dude off in the corner. Just lined up on just the counter. Are you out of your mind? Just like that. That old man all the way over there is yelling across the way about her prices. Husband's things are right here. Anything catch your eye? Which one controls the weather? I don't know. The text says it's a device covered in switches and dials. They're all covered in switches and dials. How about we look at the most worn out ones that look like they've been used every day? A hundred bags of sand. Let's grab it and jump up. What do you see? Just 
Grab a device, damn it. Do it. You're the one who deserves to be arrested. A hundred bags, you're insane. That's what I said, she's insane. You can deal with Ben shouting behind you. You're not sure why he's still here. It's only to see two guards with their clubs raised. That's him. He tried to steal my husband's possessions. Arrest him. Grab the device and throw it at the guards. Try and use it. The guard and meteorologist wife watch you in silence. I don't think that's going to help much. Just run. You hear the illusion of a club somewhere behind you. Damn. That's dumb. I'm making really dumb choices. Threw me out in the middle of the desert. Are you serious? You're gonna have the back of your head, which is throbbing. Did anything else happen while I was passed out? <sighs> they stole Roderick. It's in the direction that I was facing when I woke up. It's just a dead end. It looks like it, yeah. I guess they just threw me off of a train. Let's check out this container. Nice, an entire bottle of ink. old ladder the raised ladder so um, oh here we go it's a slight glow coming between the loose plates trust a bag of bricks come on you already know that maybe I can move it is that enough okay show it the other way there we go Back in the sewer. They let me keep my crowbar. Yeah, eat the eat the apples that are from the sewer. It's a great idea. It's not a crate, but open it with the crowbar. Take the bread, sure. Kirk's at it. Shake like a psycho. You pull the steel bars with all your might, but nothing. Remember that you have an ink you can use, but you've used on plenty of other occasions. The ink, oh, that was free ink, too. That was free ink. I am so profitable with ink right now. Oh, and now we're back in town. Perfect. Of course, now it's night time. Everyone's gone. Hmm. You hit around the corner and peek out at the tent. Yes, Mr. Narayana. I'm sure he was looking for that exact thing. He called it a weather controller. Mr. Narayana was carefully twisting a device in Satan's, trying to figure out how it works. If this thing really can control the storms, do you think that my husband really created something like that? All these people who died in the storms are like saying he might have been responsible for all that.
Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you for telling me this. It would have been terrible if such valuable information fell into the hands of the stranger. Break the woman's radio? No. Oh. Just walk up and break it? Okay. And runs into the house. Give me that. Can't really control the weather. I can't, it's spectacular. And I can't just give you the controller. This thing could decide the fate of the whole town. I don't care. Mariano takes a step back, grasping the control tightly to his chest. It looks like he's prepared to fight. Hold on, that's mine. When the you manage to steal it, you sharply yank the cage off his neck and stuff it in your pocket. Mariana flinches, expecting you to act. Not ex expecting you to act so suddenly. Death Storm. We need to stop the storm. Tell me how it works and I'll stop the storm. I don't actually know, but I can figure it out. You're just going to let people's lives depend on your attempt to try and figure it out. That was not a three minute conversation, but sure. Yeah. In the corner of your eye, you see an object flying right at you. Yeah. Why can't I fight my way through this? The, now that I'm fully capable of fighting, they really don't want to let me fight my way through it. You fall right before you hit the ground. You see Nariano climbing the stairs to the meteorology tower. You open your eyes and get up with some difficulty. Check the storm. Dead storm in two minutes. Great, I was sleeping for five minutes, fucking asshole. I should have taken everything off the table, too. Nariano is arguing with a young man. The controller in their hands is a wild wind blows through the window. The storm is almost here, we're out of time. Before Nariano can react, you punch him in the jaw. He heads into fear. He watches in silence, slowly pressing himself against the wall. Take the controller off in Mr. Nariano's unconscious body. You had your chance to stop the storm, now it's my turn. The young man presses himself against it. Panel of instruments, red lights are flashing all over it. 30 seconds, he says, taking a quick glance out the window, then squeezing his eyes shut. Dozens of buttons and switches, and not a single one is labeled. What an egotistic ass, but. You look the young man. The look you the young man shoots you is filled with 10% understanding and 90% fear of dying. There are three big switches above the display. Start with those and I'll check the text, but there's not much about it here. Multitude of indicators and buttons light up on the display. Turn the device around trying to decide what button to push now. Close your eyes and they're all random. Um I'm gonna scream and push a random button. Your cheers from the people outside getting louder and louder. That was close. Was that it? A large crowd is gathered in front of the tower. The people around you are loudly discussing what just happened. I was just about to reach town, but then it stopped. Alright, calm down. The storm is gone. You can go home now. What if it comes back? Well, look at the controller in your hand. 
I just have to hope it doesn't come back. Why did it move away the last second anyway? Yeah, why did it get so close to town? This happened before. I drove it off. The crowd starts cheering. Hooray for the paper guy. Good job proving himself. He managed to neutralize the death storm at the very last second. It's not important. What's important is that you're not in danger. Look out for the look out at the uncomprehending crowd before you jump. And your eyes slide over the people until they meet when deeps when deaths looking straight at you. I'm not going to go through six books and then cave on the last one. Oh, Wendy is the kid's name. Leaf. Cold and hard. Old hearted. Take the thing and run. God, what a ridiculous device. So does that mean this is the last book, or does that mean there's another one? Because I feel like that book ended way too abruptly. Everything's ready. Excellent work. I haven't given the courier the briefcase yet, and you're calling? Not to worry, my shackles expert is on his way to you. He'll pick up the order while he's there. He'll make quick work of yours, and you'll be free. Well, there was no working with you. I have an offer for you. Are you interested in taking on a few more jobs? We can discuss bonus to your pay. See you soon. I hate how sudden the knocking is. It's always so fucking disturbing. Constant. Gee. What the f- What did I just get? I just got complete book six, so what am I doing now? You fall into the cold sand and your pursuers land nearby. So you want to do this the hard way. Damn, it's so cold here. Where's Vince? He's waiting in the car, just in case. Vince is on your side the whole time, the bastard. Deal with him quickly and I'll get the book maybe so we can get the collector. You handle this? Yeah. I have a whole thing of ink and a whole new refine. Your voice echoes through the empty square. It seems like everyone is in bed asleep already. Good. Let's fight. I'm gonna go with the stun because I don't feel like any of that is gonna be fun. Then I'm gonna go for this and I'm gonna stun him again. And then um, I'm going to stun them again. And then um, I'm gonna drain them. Damn it. I'm an idiot. I thought. I thought that did one damage to other people. That slash. I'm a fucking. Idiot. God damn it. Right here. I'll do an extra drain. He's gonna disable a skill. 
no big deal. Drain him. I'm good for my next fight. What book did they want to take you into? Pick up the book. Black cover. The name's been erased. They said something about a collector. Is that your boss? My former boss. You opened the book and flipped it pages. You want to go there. I have this idea. Are you going to jump into the book while you're inside the book? Are you going to fucking inception this and it's going to be like some sub book? Well, if you're sure about it. I'm, I'm not. I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Oh, God. Incomprehensible. Everything's blurry. Not too deep. We're inside a book inside a book. <laughs> of course we are. Oh, look. My, my mask is ripping. There's some human face coming through the mask. Literally book section. This is fucking... God damn it. So... We'll get some backstory in a minute, hopefully. We need to find the collector as soon as we can and get out of here. It's incomprehensible, your face. We need to hurry. Yeah, we do. Oh, look, these are all the, the briefcases. Give the collectors his briefcases like these. So there are objects from other books inside. Interesting. So inside this blank book is all of the book artifacts that I'm stealing. And the box that I send them in is some sort of device that allows them to be taken out of the book world and being transported to another book. There's an achievement for not using anything in this last part. I'm assuming. I don't really know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see how it plays out. Because I might have already fucked that achievement up. Another bound book lies on the velvet cushion inside the briefcase. Where you feel it's other binding through. Oh, I think there's something else there. Mix the briefcase stuffed to the brim with the note attached to this. Next to the briefcase is a bag stuffed to the brim with a note attached to it that says needs to be sorted. Inside you find a folded cloak, an opaque glass capsule, a small wand, and an old bourbon. This is a Harry Potter reference. Um capsule. On the capsule you see a yellow triangle with a biohazard symbol. Fear toxin inhalation causes prolonged panic. Take everything. You have the capsule and the wand in your pocket. Throw the folded up cloak in your shoulder and grab the broom. So these are probably Whatever that achievement is, I don't feel like looking for it. I hope I can use all this. Let's go find the collection. I honestly don't want to just kind of fuck up some shit. Three rockers are standing on a table in the bright little room. They haven't noticed you yet. So this is where they handle briefcases. <clears throat> I see. I don't think I want to not use these. Sorry. That achievement may not be worth it right now. I could totally get through it. I just don't think I want to deal with that right now. You unfold the invisibility cloak and put it over your clothes. Walk into the room. What if there's something useful in there?
Damn. Waste of time. Three damage to all. Cost 60 ink. Classic. Triple stun. Perfect. Perfect fun. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Gonna have to take a hit. Oh well. And then always finish them off. If it's free, if it's a guaranteed kill, always do the drain. As soon as anything interesting in here, should we start with some kind of weapon? Same in the briefcase on the left. A massive futuristic blaster is lying on the briefcase. Take the blaster. Not a weapon for being quick on your feet, but at least it's reliable. Oh, let's laser some dudes. What's up, guys? Need to be guarding another set of boxes. There are toxin caps, I'm sure. I already used one of them, I might as well keep using them. And then turn around sharply. You see both men's eyes widen in horror. They're a monster. He's not looking around in terror, then jump over the railing into the darkness. Small little librarian. A honed sharp sight that radiates coldness. A small box inside the briefcase surrounded by flickering blue aura. You poke the box and certainly the field instantly surrounds your hand, making it tingle. No generator, yeah. I don't know what my artifacts are. Like, what am I using? I kind of wanted to use that laser gun, but it doesn't look like an option. Okay. Let's just fuck some shit up. It's looking like three or four person battle, but I can I can fuck them up. There's no issue from far away in the block of pass. Here's the wand. A beam of blue energy, he just disappeared. Hits the walker in the chest, and instant the sheep standing where he was. Ovis Ares is a scientific name for domestic sheep. So it's a one time use chain. Oh, that replaced my grimoire, that's annoying.
shouldn't have done that. I should have just shielded. That was a waste of a fucking drain. Such an asshole. damage here so that's fine. Death. Loop. God, now that I'm fighting through all this, I heavily regret not just doing the don't use any of the artifact challenges because this was kind of easy without it. It arguably might have been better. Alright, alright, I give up. Just don't hit me. Take off my goddamn shackles. There's a slight problem with that. My shackles expert took the day off. His daughter's sick. He's lying. I want to call you when he's available. It's only going to be a few days. If you really want to know. No one except the writers police can take them off. Do you really think my own men would be walking around in shackles if I could take them off? I would build a literal empire of stealing objects if I could do that. My friend told me that about it. Wait, Vince told me about it. Then I found out he was one of your thugs. I don't want to kill being a character. He looks. But you've turned into such a nice guy. Squeeze his throat with all your strength. You look him in the eye. Let's find out right now just how much of a nice guy I am. That doesn't quite inspire fear, to be honest. Let's finish this up quickly. I have things to do. Some important people will be here soon, and I'll be offloading a huge lot today. You turn around and see a stack of containers. Yes, that's right. Did you think I was just sitting here twiddling my thumbs and about to close the deal with Sentry? I can only imagine what happened. What's the market? Grab him by the essence. You push your hand deeper in, trying to touch not the collector's neck, but the very essence inside him. You feel a scrap of old paper. Your fingers run across the text written. There in old ink many years ago. Start pulling. I can call the shackles expert. Let's say tomorrow, okay? That's the only time frame I can give you. Since when I was here, sorry I'm not letting that happen to me again. You grab the paper with both hands and start pulling. What are you thinking? Don't worry, I've done this before. You've done this before? You see the kind of slowly separating from the book's environment, becoming something foreign. Aren't his henchmen going to come for us? They don't have a direct route to that book. 
Besides, they won't like what's wanting, what's waiting for them. You keep pulling the paper, it gets more and more difficult to pull. What's going on? This is as hard as I can pull. And your knees are going to jump up as you push up off the ground. You hear an unbelievably loud crunching sound. The rings on the paper in your hand separates itself from the book and flies upward with you. I think I twisted my knee again. Of course. What on earth was that? They find out soon enough. The collector suddenly jumps up and aims a gun at you. It's an antique direct decorated with a swirling pattern. I'm afraid nothing will come of it. Hey, don't jump around with him. That thing I just did, they don't hear it. Oh, hilarious. He just pulled him from the book like he pulled that Jessica bitch. That's Leroy Roshan. Er, what the hell is going on here? How are you mixed up in this? Oh, hello, officer. How did you recognize me? You came in question with the same coat. I disguised my face, but I forgot to put on a different coat. I'm warning you, I won't surrender alive. He was the gun with the police officer to them back at you. I don't like that line running through your head. It's too... prominent. And we'll back your little pet right up there. You see him? He puts his hands up and looks at the officer waiting for a signal. Well now. We'll come to an agreement and everything will be just fine. Where's my book? I don't think we'll be coming to an agreement with you, thief. We're gonna make a deal. I'm gonna walk away. You're accused of stealing thousands of objects and now that you're in their hands, you're not going anywhere. Close your eyes, damn it. The metal of Roderick's cage protected you from the bullet, but there's not much left of it now. You see a small rag of paper inside. Derek, you moron, I told you to stop talking. Are you alright? It's your turn, hands up. You'll get the remains of the paper in your hand. Oh, he's just in shock. It's best for you to come with us now, and we'll talk with us at the station. It's the only character you in your current situation. I can't take an isolated character. Shut the officer. His head slams into Derek, who staggers backward. Eh? Duff. Hey. Is that it? Leroy Roshan, also as the collector, was detained by the writer's police. He was later sentenced. The entire network writers are used to serve as a stolen item by Jersey and most criminals are ranging from 5 to 15 years. And Teen was detained 5 minutes after his escape. Unknown stolen character was not found on him. 28 years later. So he did the 30 years. I think this is his house. Christ, who am I? What am I gonna loot? You know? I'm assuming I'm gonna run into Roderick in here. 
I rewrite him into a book or something. My name is a team. You probably don't remember me. We worked together a long time ago. I'm sure. I say we're in partners. I don't. I just want you to see how you're feeling. Do you believe I'm quite alright? Should I be worried about something? Do you remember your name? Of course. And where you live? Maple Street? I knew it. Well, I didn't actually know it. Um. Jury, sir? Seems everything worked out. Sorry to keep it. Didn't I call that? Didn't I call that he was like a Sherlock Holmes, Sherlock Holmes character? Or maybe I might have even said Sherlock Holmes himself. But he's Watson. I wonder if the building is accurate. I don't know if Sherlock Holmes enough. Glad you're doing well, friend. Hmm. Well, Roderick, it's time for me to figure out my own stuff. I had to revisit so many books before I found the right one. That little page that was taped in in the last, like, frame before he closed it. And now he's inside his apartment. Boarded up there. Why is he in here? Is he dead? And now he just writes until he dies. I don't think that's happily ever after, not really. Well, well there you have it. We have officially rolled credits on the book walker. There's a few other words after the title of the book walker, but the title of the game is the book walker so it's like fate of the books or some shit <laughs> um, this game appears to be made by a pretty small team i'm seeing them um, am i seeing a lot of the same name no just a <laughs> just a lot of ofs mitri ashinov Ukira, Mav, Dautov. Still a decently small team in comparison to other things. This was a pretty fun game, though. Um, I'm glad I finished it. Another one down for the whole rolling credits thing. I don't want to say that I was worried that I wasn't going to complete any because I have a little bit of backup plans it does numbers in a decent range but it has been a while since i beat a game so it feels good to roll credits on something and i think this was a good way to go especially since i have fallout running this was a really good small indie game to kind of jump in between fallout especially for these weekday sessions where even now an hour and 45 is still kind of pushing it but I have a good... We're fine. This was a good game. And... Probably the newest game I've beaten... In a while. I mean, I beat Midnight Suns... Like a year after that came out. It's only because it took me a year. Yeah, Thief of Tales. That's the afterword. Well... <sighs> 
I'm gonna officially mark that as complete and uh, put that on the list completed games tomorrow is most likely Borderlands night but if not I'm gonna be starting a surprise and if not then I will start it Sunday assuming I don't have time to play two two videos worth of shit on Saturday we'll see time will tell and uh, I just gotta roll with it I want to read most of the books in this game so if there's anybody out there that knows anything about adaptations of maybe someone decided to maybe write the entirety of Thor's hammer or whatever the fuck or even especially Black River explorers or whatever that is such a great take on the Knights of the Round Table. Searching the universe for someone worthy. It's so genius. Simple. It's like it's like Wise of P being a Pinocchio game. You know, like it's just just changed just enough. And barely what it's supposed to be at the same time. Like, I'm not going to get into it. I, I had a great time though, and it really got me thinking. And now we can mark another game as complete, which feels good. So, uh, thank you.